Logan Paul used to be fucking epic. He'd be jumping in Venice waters, tasing rats, scooping fish out of rivers and molesting them. And now this is Logan Paul. I think every single person on this planet could really benefit from therapy. I do, I agree. And what did I say? I said, it's coming from a place of love. I, I want you to be the best person that you could possibly be. If what I've examined and witnessed in your behavior, I don't think the prayer is doing enough. I think actual conversation. You stupid. A medical professional. <laughs> When Vine shut down, Logan Paul and many other Viners relocated to YouTube with huge pushback. Making videos on these Viners was very lucrative for a lot of YouTubers. What Direction. is being promoted? Is the average guy with his fucking vlog channel talking about his life being promoted? No. Is the fucking average YouTuber being promoted? No. What is being promoted? The fake shit. The, the oh my god, a demon raped me in my sleep and pulled me out of bed. Hell? The fake shit. And then the suicide forest happened. Many YouTubers have made videos on this trying to prove that it was fake. There was another commentator, Pie Man, the transgender woman. It's confusing, move past it. They tried to prove it was fake. Their video was shit. They're a transgender woman. Did I mention that? They were bringing up Google Maps the locations and they got all the information wrong. Then it came out afterwards that they were sharing nudes on Discord to all their friends. They're a transgender woman. Did I mention that? <laughs> but today, I, Big Bungie, I'm going to prove that this video was fake. Me, Big Bungie. There are two reasons this video is fake. The first is the man's trousers. The second is the wildlife. This isn't a joke. Hundreds of videos were made on this millions of views and yet not a single person noticed where the hanging man is hanging from he's hanging from a tree are you getting it yet in order to tie the rope in the tree he would have had to climb the tree so why are his trousers so clean he's wearing white trousers he's just climbed a tree they're spotless not a hint of dirt He's in impeccable condition for a guy who just trekked through a forest and climbed a tree. Number two, his hands are blue, which means that the body's gone through rigor mortis, which is a process that takes around five hours. Five years, no one has ever questioned, where are the flies? This is a corpse in a forest that's been hanging there for five hours, and I'm supposed to believe that Logan Paul is the first living creature to have ever found it? No! No! Dogs! No, no, no. Foxes! Rats! Not a single fly? What am I, fucking stupid? This is fake! What am I, a fucking idiot? And then people say to you, they say, Oh, well, why didn't Logan just admit it was fake? It's because he was covering for YouTube. That's right, YouTube was in on it. Back when this shit happened, YouTube Red was just coming out, and it was supposed to be a competitor to Netflix. Cobra Kai starred on YouTube Red, which no one remembers. Literally less than a month before this video, YouTube releases a show called Do You Want to See a Dead Body? It's literally about a guy taking celebrity into forests to find corpses. I'm not joking. So this show comes out, it does terribly because they all did. So YouTube go, hmm... Let's have our biggest creator go out into the woods and find a corpse to promote this show. And we've already got a bunch of fake bodies because of the show. So they do it, it goes on trending, and suddenly there's tons of backlash. What do YouTube do? Do they tell the mainstream media that a few months ago we're trying to get YouTube shut down over PewDiePie being a Nazi? That they supplied Logan with a fake corpse and flew him out to Japan to film this video? Or do they just make Logan Paul take the fucking fall for it and pretend that it's real? YouTube have been pretty lenient on a guy that apparently filmed a corpse. He got all his YouTube Red shows back within the year. PewDiePie has yet to get his back and all he did was make a Jew joke. Logan Paul's a fucking hero, okay? He took the blame for a crime he didn't commit to save YouTube. So all these creators who've been making videos on Logan for the last year tear into this suicide forest thing. But then it isn't enough. It's not enough to criticize them for this video. They start pulling up all this content from the time and making videos on that. And when he's done assaulting people with raw seafood, assaulting people, leaves it on some poor sons of bitches taxi oh and waltz off into the sunset. It's it's beyond reckless. It's so obnoxious. It's like so obnoxious, bro. This is only in Hollywood. Coming up on the left here, you got green hair. A woman with green hair, black shirt, she's got big black boots. Only in Hollywood, guys. It's like Her mask so flew off there. Take a look on the left bro. there. It's beyond oh, reckless. No, no. This is gang. Japan is all about the respect. It's actually true. I know it's, it's true, so I gotta take my chach levels and bring them down. Yeah. I didn't edit that to make him look bad. He uh, he edited that. That was <laughs> Yeah, that's the joke. Every tiny little thing that Logan did sparked about a thousand videos from a thousand different channels. Logan fakes colorblindness. Well, Logan Paul has done some shitty fucking things, like for one, acting like he was fucking colorblind for a video. Oh shit! That hit me like a fucking rape. He jumps into some water. Like, they go to Italy, Jake Paul and Logan Paul. They're not supposed to swim in the fucking river or whatever, the lakes. They're, they're, it's, like, not allowed, yeah, all right? Like, you can't jump in there because, one, you're gonna hurt somebody. He goes gay. I mean, that's just homophobic. If Logan wants to suck some dick for a month, I don't care. 
let him do it. He does a documentary on Flat Earth. Oh, nice look at the camera, genius. I hate him. Look at a little turn of the camera. Faggot! I vividly remember to this day Keemstar ranting and raving about how Jake Paul making Everyday Bro the song was going to irreversibly damage the YouTube landscape. The real quality entertainment, the quality fucking stuff that you fucking love is dying! Is dying! This isn't like, oh well, this is just the way it is. This is like fucking grab a goddamn gun and fight for your life because everybody I fucking know in 2016 <laughs> is dying. Dad, and I'm not gonna see you next year because you ain't gonna be around, bro. If you get fucking murdered, if you get hit by a bus, you won't be big enough for me to even report. By December, Can't wait by to December, I am going to have to report that Jake Paul changed his fucking hair color just to survive. The irony of this was that he was right, only it wasn't the Paul's fault, it was actually his fault. So, sort of a self fulfilling prophecy there. All these videos complaining about Logan in Japan caused YouTube to strike the videos down, and everybody said, Celebrated. But this showed YouTube that they can remove edgy content and not only get zero pushback, but praise. Then a month goes by and YouTube changes their policy. Suddenly edgy content isn't allowed and all those people who were campaigning for Logan to be deplatformed suddenly start complaining. Nice one, Ethan. Keep it up. Everything changes. Ethan Klein starts a terrible podcast. PewDiePie disappears forever. Keemstar starts fucking kids, it's the worst. And Logan Paul changes from cool to drool. Now he's like a fedora tipping atheist. Ooh, actually, Christianity is fake. What are you, fucking Jalen? You're broadcasting a podcast to a non-physical plane of existence that only stores data, but you can't possibly comprehend how someone got two animals on a fucking boat. Every single Bible story makes sense. They go, oh, how did Jesus feed an army with a fish and some bread? Uh, it's a shark and a really long baguette, you fucking idiot. It. Give an example. Of what, one that saying. really hurt me is you told me I need a therapist because I believe in Jesus. No, that I one didn't. hurt me. No, I didn't. I said you need a therapist because Jesus isn't quite doing it for you. No, you which didn't. is no, you which didn't. is true. No, you didn't. I, and said, I, I don't want to stand down. No, you didn't. You, you think, said you think I said nah, you need a therapist because you believe in Jesus? I checked you. And I said, what did you just say to me? And you said, what did I say? And you stumbled. And you're like, I don't know. What would I say? I, no, and no, then no, you no. fumbled. And I'm not backing down. It is common knowledge that you don't interpret reality like reality happens, and you heard that incredibly wrong you think so i said what you do need, I need a therapist because you believe in jesus what do i need a therapist for then jesus isn't doing it for you and for, i, I for believe what do i need a therapist for i don't believe you're as emotionally mature as you could be what happened to this guy man what the hell's going on logan paul's a therapy junkie now every single fucker who comes out of therapy instantly starts recommending therapy to everyone they meet you notice that you go into the therapist's office and after one session the rapist goes this is a serious problem i recommend hypnosis treatment Sissy Hypno, that's all I'm saying. Very recently, Logan has been getting ripped to shreds from all sides because he has been selling crypto scams <coughs> again. What up, Ding Doing Telegram? It's me, Logan Paul. Now I know what you're thinking. Logan, what the fuck are you doing here? I'm doing the same thing as you. Holding my doink. That's what I'm doing. This is a shit coin I believe in. It's my favorite one, to be honest. Ding Doing is so much more than a meme coin. It's a multimedia coin. Cartoon meets crypto. It's the blockchain, baby. In, in, in cartoon, fun, comedy format. I'm gonna be doing an episode myself soon. My favorite thing about this one is the grown men pretending that it's really funny. Dink doink, you're my favorite coin. Want you to dink on my face. Take a doink on Onto his newest scam, Crypto Zoo. Now, imagine Pokemon. But there are no Pokemon. And the game does not function. Interested yet? To bring this dream into reality, Logan teamed up with the Crypto King. Now, the last time I saw the Crypto King, he priced a Bulbasaur at $30,000. This is a fantastic Bulbasaur. If it comes back at 10, based on your estimate. Of course. It's a gorgeous card. Thanks, Sam. No issues. Okay. How much? Uh, BGS. 10,000, 20,000 plus, maybe 30. Safe to say, the man's a fucking idiot. And he was brought onto this project as financial advice. How fucking hilarious is that? It will likely tend to a thousand X. Anywhere within that range. I've got no fucking clue what I'm talking about. Saying the range is insane. 20 to 210 million dollars. It's beautiful wherever we land. Anywhere within that range, they made 120 million dollars, and then Crypto King bought a bunch of bots to push the price back down to 40 million. After the Crypto King backstabbed Logan, Logan made new zoo coins and blacklisted all of the Crypto King's accounts so we couldn't buy anymore. Safe to say, 
the Crypto King was not happy. I'd be careful if I were you, Logan. You don't want to piss off the Crypto King. He'll give you more financial advice or kill your family. Anywhere within that range. He's since responded to this uh, fairly terribly, I might add. Coffee, you interviewed the developer who stole the game code, fled to Switzerland, and held it hostage for a million dollars. Well, his name is Zach Kelling. Surely, as the internet detective that you proclaim to be, you would know that he spent time in prison for multiple felonies, one for aggravated robbery, armed robbery at a liquor store, and the other for, surprise, obstructing the legal process. I can see why you kept him anonymous. I don't really know why you'd bring that up. Why would you admit that you hire a series of criminals? Is your PR guy a rapist? Because that explains a lot. Not surprising, really. I mean, his best friend is literally a drug dealer. Honestly, it f***ing sucks that after years of personal reform, going through trials and tribulations, and busting my ass to evolve into a person that I can say I'm actually proud of, you led the charge to drive and monetize a narrative telling millions of people that I'm a fraud or I tried to scam my audience. That is patently false. I love the narrative of Logan's redemption, but when you look over the last five years of his life, all he's done of substance is start a podcast and make an energy drink. What I need people to understand is that acting inoffensive online does not constitute emotional growth. You can be a super inoffensive little pussy like Carl Jacobs and still be a massive piece of shit. Equally, you could be a big meanie online and be a good person in real life. The way you talk of people on the internet does not determine if you're a good or bad person. What makes you a good or bad person is if you rape them or not. The worst thing Logan did in 2018 was act abrasively. The worst thing he's done in 2022 is scam people out of hundreds of thousands of dollars. So stop saying Logan Paul hasn't changed. He's absolutely changed for the worst. Probably because his main right-hand man is a junkie, I'd assume. Logan has changed from a man who's obsessed with making content to a man who's obsessed with making money. And that's sad.